How's it going? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, and we're going to talk real briefly today about setting your action, your string height on your guitar. Not to be confused with setting your neck relief, which is done earlier in the setup process. This is one of our videos that we're shooting in companion with our live radio show on kprlive.com every Monday night at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, and we've been talking about guitar setup. We've gone from the beginning, from neck relief to setting the nut height, and now we are talking about setting our string height, okay? So, it's pretty simple, really. Um, basically, what we're gonna do is we use cruise tools, uh, guitar tools around here, and you're pretty much just going to go to, some people use the 12th fret, some people use the 17th fret, check the specs for your particular guitar, and you're just gonna check the distance between the bottom of the string and the top of the fret, all the way up, all six strings. There's usually kind of a middle of the road standard for each style of guitar. A Telecaster, it's typically somewhere around two millimeters. I kind of like it a little lower than that, but it's a little bit of a, you know, it's kind of a preference thing. Let me show you what I do. I go about 1.5 to 1.75 millimeters on the high E, and then I kind of work my way up a little bit in small increments to a little, uh, right about two millimeters on the low E. And the reason is, is because I like to be able to play hard on the lower strings and have the accuracy uh, of lower action on the higher strings. Um, that's just kind of what I do. Staying very close to the radius of the fretboard is, uh, is a good thing to do, for sure, following the curve of it. There are tools that you can hang under there to do that and all that stuff, but this is cheap and effective. Uh, Cruise Tools has these, these rulers in their kits and they're fantastic. Um, one thing I would caution you about, if you have to adjust your saddles up and down, take some of the string tension off so that you're not overworking those very fine threads in those adjustment screws. If you are using a Floyd Rose tremolo or some other style blade style tremolo where it pivots on a blade, then you're gonna to wanna to take all the tension off because you don't wanna turn those screws and ruin that leading edge of that tremolo as you're adjusting your string height, okay? Now, if it is a guitar like something with a Tone Pros bridge, uh, Tunomatic style bridge, where you have um, saddles where you can only adjust one edge or the other, that might need to be taken to a guitar tech if you are not comfortable with filing grooves in your saddles if the saddles that you have don't match properly the radius of the fretboard okay so that's something to keep in mind now that's electric guitars let's talk about acoustic guitars for just a second acoustic guitars are a little bit different because there's no screws typically uh, there are a couple of brands like alvarez and a couple others that have little screws in here that you can adjust the string height up and down of the saddle most people will stop with just adjusting the truss rod. They'll put a ton of back bow in it and get it as close as possible. The problem with doing that is adjusting your string height with your, at, with your truss rod is that the guitar plays really unevenly. So it'll be really, really close down here and kind of buzzy and then you'll get up to about here and the thing will start to be further away because you'll put so much back bow in it to get this actioned up here at the higher frets as low as possible. On an electric guitar or an acoustic guitar, the higher the action is down here, as a rule, the more fur the further away from pitch you're gonna pull each note as you play, which can screw with your intonation. We'll talk about that next week. On an acoustic, do the same exact thing that you do on your electric guitar. Go through the rest of the setup, make sure that your uh, neck relief is set properly. If your action is too high, still, with your neck relief set properly. Don't do that thing where you put a bunch of back bow in it to try to get it to play better. Take the time and take the saddle out and carefully file the bottom of the saddle as flat as possible down and you have to take a couple of measurements and figure this out so that you don't take too much off and put it back in and you'll end up with a proper string height down here at your 12th fret on your acoustic guitar as well. Use the same principles, it's a little different method. You actually take the saddle out and file it like we talked about instead of using adjustment screws, but it's the same principle. Now, a lot of people don't go to this trouble, 
But if you do go to this treble on your acoustic, you're going to find it plays a lot, lot better. Just make sure that it's flat on the bottom because you don't want to lose that energy transfer to the soundboard uh, you know, by having it crooked on the bottom. My name is Dylan. This has been Dylan Talks Tone. Please check out our live show every Monday night at 9 o'clock Eastern Time on kprlive.com. Dylan Talks Tone is the name of the show. We talk about all kinds of stuff like this next week our video is going to be about intonation. If you have any questions or you want us to cover any subject in general, you want us to interview somebody, you want to just follow our stuff, please shoot me a message and we will do everything we can uh, to talk about what you want to talk about. Again, my name is Dylan. This is Dylan Talks Tone and I hope you have a great day.